So our seventh value is about problems. In John 5 and verse 6, it says, When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be healed? When people talk about the church, there is often an over-expectation that it, or more likely one of its leadership, will tell you all you need to know. They'll bear your burdens, your problems and your sicknesses on your behalf. Much of this is very subtle, but it has some profound effects on the church. The first is a lack of desire to wrestle with scripture and with God. For ourselves, in our personal devotion time, we don't do that anymore. Instead, we like it when people tell us what that scripture means for us. The other thing is that they expect the minister, or the pastor, or the leader is the person who's going to contend in prayer for you, visit you, offer tea and sympathy, and generally work as your advocate. The Church of Jesus Christ was never intended to be a sheltered community. We are, were we protected from all harm and lovingly tended by the leadership. That's not the expectation. The word Jesus used when he said he would build up his church was the Greek word Ecclesia. In the times of Jesus, the word Ecclesia was used in common parlance. It was a gathering of people who had done two years military service. And they'd come together and they would govern the community. And they would be the ones to hold the public officials to account. Those who neglected the duty to, to the Ecclesia, or who came late, well, they were whipped in the street so that they bore the marks of their neglect of duty. From this, don't take me wrong, I'm not suggesting we should whip latecomers or those who miss a Sunday celebration. It tells me that we are not called just to consume church services on a Sunday. We are called to stand alongside Jesus and be in the battle with him and that will qualify us to govern. It's out of this understanding that we get our seventh core value. We will not work harder on your problems than you will. It's interesting that of many of the healings in scripture uh, result not from Jesus reaching out but from the desperation of people coming to him. The other thing we see is that Jesus asked some very strange pastoral questions of those who were healed. He says some of the things, just as pastors, we just wouldn't say, would we? The family of the boy with epilepsy in Mark 9 come to Jesus and he says, they said, but if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. Jesus comes back with a if you can do anything, everything is possible to the man who believes. It's almost like he's, he's taking them of being dismissive of it. Jesus' exasperation on that is detailed in the report in Luke 9. And then when Jesus met the, the disabled man at the pool of Bethsaida, he asked him these questions. Do you want to be healed? It's kind of a given, isn't it? But that's perhaps the most important question we need to be asking. It's the most important question in a whole range of things. Many come seeking comfort, but that's different than the release, the deliverance and the healing that Jesus can and wants to bring. So when people come to us, are they coming for comfort or are they coming for release? If they're coming for comfort, they never will get release. Because to get that release, they have to work towards it in partnership with us and the Holy Spirit. The thing is, this value isn't about rejecting people. This value is about accepting you and loving you. But to accept you and to love you means also to lovingly challenge you to be the person that God wants you to be and to help you to reach the destiny 
that you have in Christ Jesus. We'll encourage and support you, but we expect you to work as hard on your problems as we are prepared to work. It's quite simple really. We'll encourage you, we'll support you, we'll pray with you, not for you. We'll go with you, we won't go in your place. You have to have the victory over your situation. And if we fight our battles, you miss out on the victory. So we won't work harder on your problems than you do.